She's bold. She's powerful. She's creative. Although she felt fear, she wanted more out of life. So, she did it anyway. Hi, my name is Jane Muller. I am 59 years old and soon in November, I'm looking forward to celebrating my 60th birthday. I am a separation, breakup and divorce consultant and I mentor and coach Christian women who are going through the stages of separation breakup or divorce. What energizes me is using my skills and my abilities to help my clients um, heal in the process of the devastating pain, the different stages that they go through using tools and strategies and uh, mentoring them with personal experience that I've been through, you know, I help them to move forward so that they can feel understood and empowered, bringing clarity and understanding of the process that they are going through. My passion for, um, for coaching started in 2011. I was, I was on short time first and then I was retrenched from a job where I worked for 21 and a half years. And at that time I was 48 years old. And during the time I was on short time or just before I was on short time, I've just felt there was something that was missing in my life. And I realized at that time, I was separated from the factory um, where I worked with the factory staff on a daily basis. I was moved to the, to the showroom and I felt something was missing and I realized it was my interaction with the staff. You know, the staff coming to me to help them, giving them advice if they are facing a certain situation where they need my help, if they need my expertise or my help. And I just felt, you know, if they have, uh, if they are struggling with a, a problem, they would come to me and I would advise them. I would take the time to advise them. And I realized that I missed that. And then I eventually was retrenched. And during the time of my retrenchment, at that age, I thought, what do I do now? I have not completed my degree. I started the degree program. I did not complete it. What do I do now? I was listening to a Christian uh, broadcast on television and I listened to a testimony of a lady who was in a similar position as me, retrenched and and the change that she made in her life. And I followed her on her, on her website and I've subscribed and I loved what she was doing. And in my search, I discovered this college that I did my coaching studies through. And with my first, uh, the, the, my first class, I actually got hooked. I loved, you know, that was interpersonal skills. And I loved what I was learning there. It gave me clarity and understanding relationships with others, myself, etc. And from there, my uh, coaching career started. And today, that is what energizes me, being able to share my skills and my expertise to help others move forward, fulfilling their passion, giving them hope and healing with the strategies that I have learned. During the 
time when I did my coaching course, I loved the coursework, but I did not have a niche. And at that time, I was totally unaware of what was waiting for me. In 2013, I discovered that I was betrayed by my husband of 30 years at that time. And my world fell apart. And at that time, I, I did not even think about divorce coaching. I knew about executive coaching. I knew about business coaching. But I had no clue of divorce coaching. And when I went through my divorce, I had to, I was forced to turn to the legal route. I had no experience in that. And I did not know who to turn to, where to turn to. All I knew was I needed an attorney. And in that process, I did my research and I went through my journey alone. I felt alone. I had struggles with legal issues. I couldn't understand the legal system, why it was taking so long. All that I knew was attorneys are known to, you know, get as much money out of you with the strategies that they use. And that became a very anxious and traumatic uh, phase during my divorce process. And during my divorce uh, process, it, it actually happened during covid which, you know, it actually takes longer, um, you know, for things to, uh, to be finalized legally. During that time, I discovered that there is something like a divorce coach. And that was an aha moment for me that the Lord showed me that that pain that you have been through, that can turn into your power, that passion of coaching, helping people, advising them, sharing your knowledge and your tools, that you can actually use to empower people and, and mentor them because you have first-hand experience of the process of being separated, of having your marriage or your relationship breaking up, and then finally ending in the trauma and the devastating effects of divorce. My clients would benefit from a coach who would be their thinking partner, a mentor who have first-hand experience going through the process, someone who would hold a non-judgmental space, who would partner with them, looking at the different options, understanding their thoughts and their emotions, and where I would share skills and tools that if they are willing and able to apply it, they will find hope, they will heal in the process, they would speed the healing process up and also they will have peace of mind knowing that they are not alone. There is someone that is going through the journey with them. The way forward in, in terms of my coaching practice is that I have always been a facilitator. I have uh, facilitated programs on, on gifts, on talents, and um, I have also 
facilitated programs on communication and forgiveness. And there's so many now that I have been through my journey. There is just so much, you know, confidence, the um, imposter syndrome that we suffer from, especially when we come to our midlife age, you know, and we are facing these challenges such as divorce or job loss or even a loss of a partner. What I... Uh, what I do is face-to-face -face platforms. Um, you know, COVID has brought about technology that allows us to do Facebook platforms. And, you know, we have the tools such as Messenger, WhatsApp, and YouTube. There's just so much, you know, there's newsletter. There's, I actually have been approached to do an online newsletter, you know, where I um, share the services that I do and share tips and tools. I have participated in a podcast a series and then I have given testimonies around, you know, the goodness of the Lord, being a Christian woman and recognizing and acknowledging how the Lord has led me through my journey, you know, from a very young age up to, you know, this good midlife age that I am so excited about. All praise and glory goes to God. And so I would be willing to do... um all forms of platforms, telephonically, just um, whatever, whichever method would be suitable for my clients. I There's many ways, you know, that we can make this interaction and this client coach and coachy relationship. We can make it a possibility because all things are possible. Today, I would encourage my listeners or the viewers that you can turn your pain into your passion and into your power. That is exactly what I am determined to do. I loved coaching was my passion and I was not going to allow the pain of my divorce, the pain of the loss of a dream of until death do we part. To be robbed of by the enemy, I am determined to make coaching, which is my passion, and turn it into my power. And I came to use that power to empower another woman so that they can experience the joy, the joy that I thought I have lost, that I felt I have lost. I have regained my joy. I have regained my passion. I've picked it up. And one of the fears that I had was, what am I going to do now? When I discovered I was betrayed, I had a full-time job. I then, through the process, I was forced to resign from a job, a job that had many perks. You know, I could retire at a later age, at the age of 67. Those, I felt, was all in my favor. And unfortunately, the pain and the devastation of divorce, you know, it just got the upper hand of me. And... In the healing and in me reaching out, I want to tell you that there is help out there. I had to take a step. I had the tools, but every coach needs a coach. And I had to reach out to a therapist. I had to reach out to coaches so that I can find my way back into finding my passion and living 
my fulfilled life in helping women to achieve and to fulfill their dreams and to live the life that the Lord has. You know, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says that I know the plans that I have for you. And I believe that God has a plan for each one of us. And it is just for, our, for us to reach out and to go back to the skills, to the experience that we have gained over the years and put that all together and see, you know, before I turned my passion into, into, um, uh, into monetizing it, I used to do this as a, as a ministry. And if you want to do it as a ministry, God can use you. If you want to turn it into um, your passion and monetizing it, that is possible too. So all that you need to do is to do what I did, is to reach out. There are mentors out there who have been in your position. Reach out. Don't do it alone. If you do it alone, the process is going to be longer. That was my experience. And today I do what I do so that I can help my clients shorten the healing uh, process and also doing what they love and regaining the life that they would love to live and to be that woman, that mother, to, to wear all those hats that we wear as women and just to be there and empower others by what the Lord, how the Lord has empowered us, we in return can give back to others. And we don't have to fear because we know that God has promised us that he will be with us in our valley experiences and also in our mountaintop experiences. And that is what makes us who we are, to be that authentic person who has been through those valley experiences. And we can shout it from the mountaintops, what the Lord has done for us, he can do for others too. She did that.